Yo. <laughs> Just messed my headset up. So PAX Day, or PAX Die, um, however you want to say it, just released a uh, an announcement for early access. Shwee, baby! Um, if you don't already know, PAX Day is a survival MMO of a sorts. Kind of like, a, it's like a fantasy rust, more so. Um, but let's watch the video and see what's up. Another vision. Oops, for go back. We founded Mainframe Industries based on a singular vision for the future of the MMO category. We it believe is that Hacks Day is a reinvention of the genre, and now we're entering it early looks access. So good to allow us to test our scaling, to make sure that everything is running as smoothly as we possibly can. And we hope you will take the time to join us in the adventure. We can't wait to see the world that you make. It's a pretty cool game. It's With pretty fun. Access, what we're aiming to build is a, a community of people working very closely with the development team. The reason is obviously mm. that, you know, the game cannot be built without I like people. It's, that. it's a game about people interacting and the social emergence of the, the social structures and hierarchies that emerge from this and the interaction and the, and the wars they will fight and, uh, and, and the peace they will make. Dude, those we cities are want cool. it to be early in the hands of the players so we can make it ready together. There will be bugs, there will be issues, but uh, we're so humbled to see how people have been receiving it already. Going into early access is really the next uh, major milestone for us and it will enable us to host more players and get more feedback. So basically early access means that you are on the floor with us during development. We really want to listen to the communities by being able to make good calls on what are the new things that we'll be adding to the game. Basically, Hash was built this world. We want to make it right. Okay, man. So the way we look at the game we have now is kind of thinking of the game in there's the three major segments to it. One is the resource harvesting, village building, and crafting that you've done in the relative peace and that allows you to build gear that allows you to go to adventures the adventures form the second third of the game where you at like at the highest level go to go to dungeons um experience like creatures and get loot and this you need to bring back to the, the villages so the last third we think is missing in the game currently is a the large scale social systems and the first thing that we're going to be adding to the game during the early access is the markets. Markets, huh? So as a player, you will be able to go out to the PB adventures and find gold. And this will allow a larger scale economy to emerge that will involve everybody living in the world. The players is the, the part of the game that really makes the world come alive. Well, the year since we announced PAX Day has been amazing. Uh, we've just <laughs> been kind of blown away by the reaction. What surprised us a lot is Until. how much... Until that guy was having trouble holding in his emotions. People liked it. We really didn't... He's passionate. A lot of these guys are passionate. It's really cool. Expect people to build such huge, beautiful things. We really didn't expect anything like that. And it's been really such a pleasure to see the community grow and to read their... <laughs> I just imagine them, they're all sitting around watching Asma Gold's videos like, what the hell are these guys doing? Feedback, <laughs> see them help us and being excited. It's people are just so engaged with the idea of the game and they just want to get to play it. <laughs> it's a really pretty game. I want to say to the people who have helped us develop the game and, and tested it very early, you have been completely invaluable. So I say, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much uh, for helping us. Thank you. Thank you for testing. Thank you for playing. Please join us in the early access. We need more feedback. Help us to make PAX Day great. Yeah, um, PAX Day is really fun.
um the crafting it's really it's really intense you do have to have a lot of you have to have friends to really play that game really well or you're just gonna have you're just gonna it's just gonna take forever to do anything um let's see if there's anything we can put in the background nothing um my biggest issue with pax day was honestly it's really just the combat the combat it needs to be not like fully overhauled but like they need to change up the stamina or at least add realistic or like not realistic blocking but like some make the blocking better or add in dodging because you literally can't avoid any damage and then if you try to block that damage there goes all your stamina and then you're just going to get beat to death because you don't <laughs> have any stamina um you can't attack you can't run you can't do anything and even with like i had like the second or third tier gear um and still getting whooped like you go after these wolves and honestly i was cheating there to get the wolves i made a video of it actually i don't know maybe i did upload it um but you can just jump on like a pillar as long as they don't have a path directly to you you can they'll just stand there and you can just beat on them um but yeah they need to they need to change up the way the stamina works adjust the blocking and they didn't make it so you can move while you're while you're attacking like there's a reason world of warcraft's combat is so good is that's because you can move around while you're attacking like you don't need to be a stationary object while you're flinging your sword around because it's not even how it's going to work in real life you need to be able to move and blocking Blocking one attack shouldn't bring my stamina bar down halfway. I should be able to run as well. And then, yeah, just add a add an iframe. Like, I feel like dodging should almost be just like standard in any game, honestly. Um, I want to make a video talking about the combat system, but I never got around to it because of how busy I was. And I don't know if anybody even watched this video. Or even care about my opinion but please please update the combat uh i wish i could just talk to them directly be like yo do this just make the combat good if you make the gameplay good the people will come i mean like there's a lot of people that are going to want to play this game but i feel like if it's just building and the building is great like i mean people are going to play it but like they're not going to want to do anything else in the game if the the comments is going to be so generic because they could really take this game so far because it's so big that's another <laughs> another issue is like it's so big it takes forever to get anywhere and then it's like no different you see the same mobs the same things the it feels like the leveling progression is very slow like there's only like three different zones in the whole game really um other than that, the dungeon seemed pretty cool. Like, like I said, the combat, I couldn't get anywhere near a dungeon because I just get immediately wrecked. If you if you don't like in a group of like five or more people there. Um, even just me and my buddy, like, we just get stopped instantly. Yeah, really, that's all this game needs. It's just a really polished combat system. And they could go really, really far. Um, other than that, I think I, I I see their vision where they want to have like these communities that people build because there's no NPCs in the whole game. So like, you could be you know the blacksmithing guy, and then you you know go down the street, just like in a real city, and you go to the tailoring guy, and he'll make your tailoring stuff. You go down to him, be like, hey man, I need three string and a couple bolts of wool. So I can take it to the blacksmith guy and he's going to make me some, some chest armor. I'm going to head off onto this, uh, you know, this crazy quest. 
And then lo and behold, none of those guys ever log in because the combat sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I see their vision, though. I see their vision. It looks super cool. Um, it is, it's a huge, huge step to like rely on your community to build the community. But that's honestly what like MMOs are missing the most is community. That's what an MMO essentially is, is just a giant community. Um, but we're talking about like, a triangle is one of the most stable shapes. Community, gameplay, and what would be the third one? Uh, community, gameplay, and shoot, I don't even know. You need community, you need good gameplay, and you need, I would probably say a story, but you don't always need a good story, really. She needs stuff to do. There just needs to be stuff to do. You need a progression system, a good progression system. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of. This city looks amazing. I don't. I wonder if that's real. It looks really, really cool. Yeah. Anyways, um, if you haven't already, check out Pax Day. Um, super cool survival MMO. It's Honestly, this is this is exactly what the game looks like when you're playing it. You can see a mountain that's 50 miles away, and it still runs pretty seamlessly, even for having I got a 2080 super, and it uh, it still runs pretty good. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.